Welcome to another Dark Nook video. This is an unboxing video for my Hugh G brand shoe repairing machine. I got one of these Chinese cobbler sewing machines because I do leather work and I figured it was a, it was a pretty good deal for about 150 bucks. I went back and looked at my eBay listing and there's nothing in the listing that indicates it comes with a stand or the spare parts, but the box said it, so I kind of got my hopes up. It's a special with stand. Maybe that just means if it comes with a stand, that's special. And this one isn't special. It's run of the mill, basic. Just the machine, bare bones, but that's what I ordered. That's what I wanted. I just wanted the machine. I'm completely okay with the fact that it didn't come with a stand. I was gonna throw the stand away anyway. So I'm not using the stand, I'm gonna build my own. Now it comes in a bag and it comes uh, just caked with castelline oil. Boy, it's, uh, it's a bit of a mess. Right now, these things, you're, they've gotten very popular with the makers in the, uh, in the last few weeks, few months. I've seen these things go from being about $115 to almost $200. I saw one for $400 the other day. So I got this one for about $150 and free shipping. So it was a pretty good deal. The whole thing is in working order. There's, there's no broken parts or busted welds or nothing is bent or otherwise obviously broken. I mean, there might be something internal that I didn't see, but nothing, nothing appears to be out of whack. I was very surprised when I opened this up because the main sewing plate, which apparently on a lot of models is very rough and needs to be sanded down, was actually smooth and nicely machined on this. It doesn't need to be sanded at all except maybe in a little spot on the very tip. There's a bit of a rough spot. But for the most part, this thing is a nice, it's a nice condition nice shape there's very little uh very little rust or any other issues on this thing there's a couple of spots that could probably use a little bit of sanding and some some oiling but for the most part i was pleasantly surprised it comes pre-threaded with a piece of thread running through so that you can see how it goes together which is great because the instructions are just useless uh, they're funny I, I i read some of the funnier bits at the end of this video but it does come with a piece of thread running through to show you how to thread it. And there's a test piece of leather that shows it's been sewn. Luckily, there's a bunch of great YouTube videos out there. Um, shout out to Manly Acres for some great videos on everything about this machine. How to modify it, how to set it up, how to disassemble it. Uh, he's got some great videos. He was able to answer a couple questions that I had. So again, uh, shout out to Manly Acres and thanks for some great content. It's got two spare bobbins, uh, a spare shuttle, and a spare shuttle mounting assembly. So all that's uh, extra and attached to the machine here. Thanks for checking out another Dark Nook video. As always, smash that like button, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions or if there's any projects you'd like to see me work on, leave a comment, ask about it. And thanks for checking out my videos. Let's check out the manual. High G brand shoe mending machine operation instruction. Let's see here, we've got the structure of the sewing machine. Needle rod rocking arm, needle bar connecting link, big rocking arm, little rocking arm, needle, needle head, pressure adjusting nut for pressing foot, needle distancing adjusting nut. These are all accurate. Pressing base, assembly of the ball board, an assembly of line ball board. Okay, that's interesting. Line ball board. Always wonder what these things are referring to in terms of the translation. I'm assuming that the line is the thread. Ball board. I mean, it's it's the tensioning disc. So maybe board is disc. I'm not sure what the ball part of that is, but. Shuttle bed, spanner, flexible lump. What the? All right, what's flexible lump? Flexible lump is apparently the 13, yeah, flexible is apparently the divide, the part that attaches to the pitman rod and then attaches the pitman rod to the, uh, to the crank assembly here. Flexible lump that okay that <laughs> that's straight up what it says. It's, yeah, straight up flexible lump. 
And it's this guy right here. All right. Thread leaping. Yeah, that's the little guy up here that moves the thread. Okay. Thread leaping base, thread bearer, collier, leading plate, rocking bar, main bearing, middle bearing, shuttle bearer, shuttle bobbin, pitman rod. Yeah, this is all accurate except for the flexible lump. If. Okay, what the. If there is no kaja noise when turning leading plate, it shows the machine can be used. Okay, so I guess if you turn the crank and it goes kaja, that's a problem. So no kaja noise and you're good to go. I'm trying to figure this out on its own, you're not in a good place. <laughs> Shake leading plate with hand. Take out about two to three inch thread head. Set shirt hole. Is that a Pokemon? Do you need a Pokemon to operate this thing? I don't have a shirtle. 